The Federal Reserve is set to announce its first interest rate cut in more than four years. At this moment, the Fed's bench benchmark rate is at its highest point in more than two decades, and the central bank kept it there in an effort to tamp down inflation. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell announced that it was time for a policy adjustment during last month's meeting in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. The inflation rate has dropped very close to the 2% target. And while there's some debate as to how big the cut may be, Experts predict it will likely be around a quarter or a half of a percentage point. According to the financial services company CME Group, there is a 57% chance that the Federal Reserve announces a half point cut and a 43% chance the cut is one quarter of a percentage point. Are you following along? <laughs> CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here in, with me in Studio 57, just in case you're not, because you're going to simplify all of this. Yes. How big of a difference are those two expectations? Oh, it's a quarter of a percentage point. See, we're done. That's okay, great. That's we it. finished right. it. Thanks, it Jill. doesn't really matter, okay? Yeah. What matters is they're starting. And this is going to be a process, and it's not going to end here. And I think that that's what's really the, the most important thing to anyone who's watching, which is you're either a borrower or you're a saver, and this decision will and this process will begin to impact you. If you're a borrower, interest rates are going to be moving lower. They will not go back to where they were during the pandemic. They're, we're not going back to 0% interest rates. 3% mortgages, just not going to see that. Mm. And for savers, you know, you've been very lucky for the last, uh, you know, couple of years. You've had 5% CD rates. Those rates are going to start to go down. And we don't know where it's going to end. I just want to be clear about that. But okay. the idea is that we're moving lower. And depending on where you're sitting in the economy and how you use your money, it's going to cut you in different ways, as you just alluded yeah. to. So what then are you watching for from today's announcement? What keywords? You know, look, I know that everybody wants a Fed decoder ring. This goes back to Alan Greenspan. You're too young. He was a Fed chair a million, a million years ago. And we used to be like, what's he saying? And uh, Bernanke was a much clearer speaker. Janet Yellen was a clear speaker. Jerome Powell's a straight shooter. And what we're also going to get today are the predictions by Federal Reserve officials of where they think the economy is going. So people are going to look at that summary of economic predictions, and they're going to say, okay, what's the Fed think? And I'm going to just tell you right now, they've been wrong very often, just hmm. like us. They're just mortals. They're thinking what might happen. They're going to react to the data. So really what we are seeing is what do Fed officials think the rate, the rate uh, cuts are going to be for the end of this year through the end of next year? Where do they think this is all going to land? In the press conference after this is announced, you're going to see the Federal Reserve chair get peppered on where are we going to end? What will be the terminal rate? Where are we going to finish this process? Mm. Remember, we went from zero to five and a quarter to five and a half percent right. in a hurry, right? And we want to know, are we going back to zero? Probably not. That happens when you're in a deep recession. Are we going to be mo more like three percent? That's what many people think. I like how you acknowledge that humans are behind all this. Exactly. Humans are imperfect and emotional. We're looking at Wall Street. They seem to be kind of preparing for this announcement. But when will folks watching right now feel today's decision? You know, in some part, they have already because you've seen that mortgage rates, which the Fed does not directly control, mortgage rates are controlled by supply and demand. And we've seen those rates come down from that 8 percent peak yeah. now to about six and a quarter percent for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. So it's already happening. Uh, I was with an expert, a housing strategist, uh, the past couple of days. And one thing that he said to me that was really interesting is he said, you know, even if the, the mortgage rates go down to 5 percent, that might be just enough to induce people to start getting back into the housing market. It's not going to be great. It's not going, you're not going to get a 3 percent fixed rate mortgage, but maybe 5 percent is kind of closer to where it becomes more affordable. So I think we see that. With credit card rates, they'll go down, not as fast as they go up, but they'll start to come down, and auto loans should start to come down. You know, look, in some respects, I know we're rooting for lower interest rates, but when we see lower interest rates happen very quickly, remember, it's usually because we are in a deep recession. So we are not rooting for that. 3% mm. at the end of this, of this rate cut cycle would mean we have a soft landing, maybe some bumps along the way, but we have a soft landing. The economy does not crater. We don't see a deep recession. That, to me, would be ideal. We don't want to root for 0% because that would mean job losses, wage cuts. That would all be the bad stuff associated with a recession. Right. Great clarity from Jill, as always. Thank you so much. Sure.